YouTube thumbnail testing is finally available to everyone and is something I've had access to for over a year now. I've tested across hundreds of videos. I wanna show you exactly how to use it in this video on your channel. And I wanna show you exactly what to A-B test because there's a ton of different things you could change, but I wanna show you the method that I use to get very clear takeaway for my thumbnails. Okay, so to do the A-B testing, all you have to do is upload a video to YouTube, give it a title, give it a description, same as always, but instead of uploading a thumbnail over here, you should have an option, this third one, it says test and compare. If you click here, it's gonna give you three different boxes and you could choose to use just two or three. If you do three, it's gonna compare three. If you do two, it's gonna compare two. So let me just upload a couple of different thumbnails to show you exactly how to do this. So just press the plus sign and I'll just show you what I'm testing in this case. All I'm testing is here's a pose I have, here's another one, and here's another one, right? So a subtle smile, a bigger smile, and no smile, that's what I'm testing. I wanna have a very clear takeaway on that. I could have tested a million other things, but then my takeaway wouldn't be as clear. So typically with every video, I have one test that I'm running. In this case, it's my pose. The next one that I'm gonna test is I'm gonna take myself out of it altogether and then test that to see, hey, does my face actually help the video? or does it hurt the video? Company logo versus no company logo. Yellow banner versus blue banner versus red banner versus green banner. I would test those, but one at a time. So if I was just doing a banner color test, that's all I would test with the same face in every single one. So I'll always change one big variable, but not more than one, because then you're not gonna have a clean takeaway. Then the next time you're always improving on your thumbnails. So let me add version one, and I usually name the thumbnail in my file. I save it out of Photoshop, or if you use Canva, put V1 or V2 and V3. So here's one, here is the next one, and here is the third one. So you wanna upload all three like this. Okay, and once you're done, once you press done, it's gonna say ineligible right now because it's only gonna start running when the video is published. I'm still on the very first page. I still have to go through the process of publishing the video. And I have a completely different video showing how to upload a video like a pro. So it shows you all these different pages exactly how to fill out every section correctly so you could show up in search and suggested the best possible way that you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this, but let me take you to my next channel to show you the result and to show you exactly how it works. So when you go to your YouTube studio and click on content and look at all your videos, any video that you've ran a thumbnail test on that's complete, it's gonna say thumbnail test finish. You can see that text right there. If it's still running and it can't figure out who the winner is, it typically runs it for a while and they still look like this. So all these other thumbnails are still going through the A-B test. Let me click on one that has a completed test. So you will have to click it and then go down here and you could see the test is here. You could press the three dots right over here and view the test report. So I'm gonna click right over here to view the test report. And in this case, it says test finished. It's gonna tell you the range. So this ran for a while, it ran for two weeks. One thumbnail was preferred, but with limited confidence. So when the change is not big enough, it usually will be pretty close in the results. So you got 46% and 53% here, so this one won. And as I'm looking at it, this one just had the text on top and one had the text on the bottom, no face. That's what I was testing on this very specific test. Again, I mix this up all the time. Now, this number right here, this is what you wanna pay attention to, but this is not your click-through rate. It's not that more people clicked on this. It's actually right here, if you hover over here, it's which video got the most watch time, not the most click through. Typically, when you A-B test thumbnails with all kinds of different tools in the past before YouTube had it, it was based on which one got the most clicks. YouTube decided to basically show it based on which one got the most watch time because they said, well, you can make a very clickbait thumbnail, everybody would click that instead, but if it doesn't match the video, then what's the point? So they chose to show it based on watch time. So this is how this number is calculated here and that's how this one was a winner. You could always press new test, by the way. It's gonna erase the previous, but sometimes I will upload a video, let it run for a few weeks, and then maybe I wanna test something different with a whole different audience, because at that point, it wouldn't be my subscribers watching, maybe it will be in search or suggested, so I may wanna test something entirely different. Here, I'll show you one that's still running over here. So this Photoshop tutorial, it says it's still running. So I could still view the test report and it's gonna show me how it's going so far. This one, it says it has three days, but again, 
I did not change that much over here, right? I had the picture from my Photoshop tutorial in the background of this one, and I chose a more plain one over here. No face this time. My next test, I'm gonna add my face and see if it improves. I might change the text, I might change the banner. I might remove the logo, make the logo bigger, right? Ton of different ways you could test these. So this is my test right now. And anytime you could stop the test, by the way, if you wanna make the decision, but I almost always let YouTube just figure it out and run the length of the test. So that's the way you test thumbnails inside of YouTube now. Again, something that I've been using for over a year. One of my favorite options and I'm so excited more people are gonna take advantage of it now. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.